Hello everybody and welcome to today's snapshot review which is 15w34a and you can see it already we've got new command blocks which is quite awesome. And uh, besides the command blocks we want to start with something before that because we've got some uh, features for the survival gameplay as well and therefore I brought Skid with me now and as you can see he has diamond armor. And if we now both go to game mode zero real quick. then you can see that when I hit him, there's this little bar right here underneath. So let me do that again. And that is actually um, settable in the video settings. It's an attack indicator. I've got it to cross here now. You can set it to hotbar or turn it off. Let me show you the hotbar, because I think that this is uh, way cooler. Uh, you can see down there that the sword is uh, going up again. Don't know. Yeah, with the hand, you can see that uh, the thing uh, fills up way quicker. And now let's take a look at the damage that we can make, because that changed now. So if uh, Skid hits me now once, go ahead, uh, yeah, that was half a heart of damage. Uh, let me take off some armor so we can see it better. So hit me once. Okay, that was four hearts. And then uh, let me stand over here so I can't um, get to somewhere. Uh, then keep hitting me, please. And if I take this off now, you can see that he barely makes any damage with his diamond sword because he's just hitting too fast. So uh, that is the new feature to uh, the survival gameplay, which is quite cool. And I think now we can quickly take a look at the command block stuff because uh, with the command blocks, we've got new colors, as you can see, and the texture changed as well. So if I quickly go to game mode one, you can see if I just grab a normal, uh, normal command block, that there is now this button down here. And if I set this, you can see we've got chain, repeat and impulse. And the impulse is th still the same. Uh, the texture is a little bit different. Now we've got this arrow here and depending on how I place it down, it will point in a different direction. We need that in just a second. Cause uh, what we can do, let's uh, start with this one here, which is a repeating command block. Uh, you get this just by placing the normal one and then setting it to repeat. And if I type in say hi, and power this, you can see that this gives a lot of outputs. I think it's uh, 20 per second, so the 20 um, ticks, so you don't need your redstone clocks anymore to power your um, yeah, machines, which is quite awesome. But then there's still the problem that you've got the updating order of command blocks, and that is where uh, those come in handy, the chain ones, because if you've got a pro uh, program which needs to update in a certain order, you can just p um, put that part of a program in a chain. And what a chain then does, if I just grab, I can just do it with this one here, uh, put this one to chain, say one, then I do another one, say two, also chain, and uh, if I power these, uh, this was a bit tricky to figure out, uh, they do nothing for now. But if I put in a normal command block that points into this one, and uh, let me do, uh, say, start, then um, this won't power those by now, but if those are powered, and I power this one here, then you can see it uh, does start, say one, and say two. So these get updated in this order, which is extremely useful. And if we go a bit further with this, we could even hook it up to a 20 tick clock. So like this, and you can see the chat just gets spammed with numbers because this one activates 20 times per second. And then those ones uh, get chained 20 times per second, which is quite amazing. And uh, so we have some really cool feature to the command blocks here and also the survival features are quite great. Um, also, there is a lot of optimization going on in the background at Mojang. So um, they are doing pathfinding for mobs and um, more stuff like that. Uh, that won't uh, increase your frame rate, they tweeted, but it will increase uh, the server performance. So you may be able to run more render distance on your server if you're doing stuff with command blocks, for example, which is quite resource heavy by now. And um, yeah, that will improve. And also uh, the general uh, servers won't be that stressed anymore, we hope at least. So we'll see how that works out. We'll see that in the uh, future. And if you find anything that we missed now in today's snapshot, then of course, let us know in the comments. 
But that is all what we found so far. So I want to thank you now for watching and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.